Alex, thanks. Well, with no deal reached between YSU and the faculty union yesterday, negotiations will be continuing today. Our first news weekend morning anchor Connor Kick is live once again at the strike headquarters this morning. He's been monitoring what happens next. So, Connor, tell us. Yeah, good morning, guys. We've been tracking this all week long, and today is now the day that both sides have been saying that they've been trying to avoid. Students are coming back from fall break, but no contract has been signed, no negotiations have been met yet, and the, when the students go back into the classroom, they're not going to have their usual professors. Now let's take a look at what happened during the negotiations yesterday. Both sides met Tuesday after university administrators announced Monday that a counterproposal was being considered that involved some compromises on salaries. However, the union said that the counterproposal that was presented during negotiations Monday was different than the one sent out to the union. YSU said the mistake was a miscommunication according to union officials. YSU has set up a web page to guide students through the process should the strike continue on. The university said that classes will resume on Wednesday whether an agreement is reached or not, saying that if the strike spills into the Wednesday, the university will remain open and is making those plans to continue to offer classes. We are ensuring as best as we can that there will be uh, qualified individuals that will be covering these classes for now. You know, our hope is, is that the two sides can get back at the table. The negotiations are going to continue on into today, and those are set to resume at 1 p.m. Coming up in the next half hour, we talk to students once again about what they think about what this and all of this is going on, and we'll hear from them coming up in the next 30 minutes. Live in Youngstown, Connor Cake, First News this morning.